Have you walked through historic Charleston and come across a half address? How on earth do you have a half address? Well, let me tell you. I had a wonderful childhood growing up in small town, Pennsylvania. After graduating college, I worked in the golf industry. Soon, I was recruited to be the executive director of the Women's South Carolina Golf Association, which brought me to Charleston, where I fell in love with all this great city has to offer. Pristine beaches, the history, and the championship caliber golf. Now, I spend my days helping others live their dream lifestyle here in this beautiful state. I'm Jennifer O'Brien, and this is Living the Charleston Coast Lifestyle. Look down a cobblestone alley or a small sideways street. Small houses are buried away. Historically, homes would have different buildings on the property, a main house, a kitchen house, or a carriage house. Over time, these additional buildings would get renovated and sold, and then we would have to create a separate address. The main house might be 29 Pineapple Street, and a kitchen or a carriage house might be 29 and a half Pineapple Street. It's a lot of fun to walk through the historic Charleston neighborhoods and find these homes with a half address. Now, there's one more really rare address phenomenon in Charleston. Do you know what it is? If you do, shoot me a picture of your find. If you're really curious and can't wait for your next trip into town, send me a message and I'll share the secret. Got questions about buying or selling a home on the Charleston coast? Call or text me, Jennifer O'Brien, at 610-283-0867 for a free copy of my exclusive Charleston Locals Guide with my hand-picked recommendations of the very best restaurants, tours, and fun activities throughout the Charleston area. Visit my website at jenniferobrienhomes.com. This is Jennifer O'Brien. Until next time on Living the Charleston Coast Lifestyle.